Hello, hello, today I'm going to show you how to replace a wishbone or in control arm replacement of a Suzuki Swift. Okay, first step, um, support your supporting um, edges under the back wheels. Safety first, isn't it? This is important. After this, go to the front side. In this case, we will replace it on the right side, on the right front side. And now we have to use a car lifter or a car jack to lift up the car. Take care. This is the, um, the point to locate for lifting. Good job. Pump it up. But only a little bit because we have to untighten the bolts of your tires a little bit. Only do a quarter rotation, then lift up the car. Um, do not forget to pull the handbrake and shift to gear number one. Now lift up your car until you are able to, um, to place another safety part under the wheel. This is important because we will need the car jack again for another lift action. Take a massive part of your car and now dip it under it. Now get the car jack in one level with the supporting stand and now we are ready to disassembling the tire. Extract all bolts and then um, release your wheel your front wheel of course good job now we are able to see behind the wheels it's the brake system and the brake disc and the bumper and all other things have a control of this parts yeah it looks good and this is the wishbone the control arm we are able or we are going to replace now so on the right side you see the new control arm and this is the bolt to extract first this one this holds your wishbone in position and this bolt we have to re remove and on the right side there is an bolt a bolt too this we have to remove too so these are this um Control arm is supported with three boards or three screws, and this we have to um, to unleash first. We'll need for this some kind of nuts and socket wrenches. Let's start. Untighten the first bolt that will be on the right side. Now untighten it. Maybe. Um, do a little bit of rust eraser, eraser uh, in the past on top of the bolt to make it easier to extract. So the first bolt is extracted. Good job. Let's head up to the second bolt. This is the second bolt on the left side of your um, wishbone. Rotate it anti-clockwise and good job. Now. We extract the second bolt. Yeah, we are awesome. Yeah, good job. You do not need this second socket wrench because the nut is on top of this plate. Good. Now use the ex extension and the nut for the front bolt. But this you have to counter with another socket wrench on the other side so use two socket wrenches to unscrew the front board take care to do not damage the balls because it's a little bit rusty under there yeah but this will work rotate it anti-clockwise and extract the bolt good job yeah, rotated. Socket wrenches are awesome to 
this working option. Yeah. Extract the bolt and the nut. Maybe you have to smash a little bit on top to get it out on the other side. Now it's extracted. Good job. Now the wishbone is free. Now we have to shake and uh, extract it and smash it a little bit down because of the uh, holding position there. Use a um, additional socket wrench, nut holder or some other metal parts to smash it down. Use a hammer for this too. So smash, smash, smash. Then place the part on the other side. It's cold here as you can see. Ooh. Nice smash there and smash on the other side. But you are able to see the bolt on the front is coming out slowly. But it's coming out. Not for Christmas, because mm. for replacement. Smash gently and smash immediately. Come on, man. Hurry up, please. Come on. Come out, little board at the front. But it works. As you can see, there it is. Now we extracted the front part of your wishbone. And this part was broken because that we have to replace it. Good job. Now there are only two spots we have to disassemble by rotating right, left, left and right. Shake it, baby. Shake it. Shake it. Shake the wishbone out of position. Yeah, that will work good. Heavy duty. But he is make it super well good job man there it is first side out now rotating here on the other side and extract it Woo. take care of the disc area because there's no supporting unit do not um, smash this now use a little bit of copper paste on the bolts we are able or we are going to um, assemble with a new part a little bit copper paste is good for this you, know, you can also use some other parts like hmm like fat because it's not so hot there hmm, okay i use or i am using copper paste for this now we have to push the new part the new wishbone back in position start on the left board then switch it on the right side inside and after this at the same time um assemble it and the front on the front side so let's do this first on the left side okay that's good now supported by bolt do not tighten the board, only support it. Then slide it in position on the right side. It's a little bit of tricky, but you can handle this. Support this with a bolt too. And then let's head up to the front side after this. Good job. Two, two times supported. This is great. Okay, the front side. Now it's time to to dip it there or press it in position yeah but it will match you smash it a little bit up good job rotate shake it a little bit this will match soon it's a little bit tricky but you are able to handle this really good there it is inside now smash with the hammer a little bit from down to up until it matches. Oh yeah, it matched great. Techno, yeah, techno movie. Good job. Now insert the bolt to support it and use a, use a nut for a better, for a better um, matching. Good job, easy. Now all three 
bolts are supported. Good. Now we have to take a card jack under it and bring it in one level. That is important. Bring the wishbone in one level with all other parts and after you you get one level you are able to tighten the boards. Start with the right, uh, the right board and tighten it by using a socket wrench. Yeah, hard boy. Then go to the left side, bolt and tighten this bolt too. Rotate it clockwise. Good job. Yeah, easy going. And add. What is it? Good job. Tighten. Yeah. And now go to the front side. The front side bolt has to tighten too, of course. For this you will need two socket wrenches. One to support, one to tighten. Use the socket wrench clockwise to tighten the bolt and the nut. Yeah, good job. The part is assembled. Now let the new parts down on the earth again or not on the earth it's just maybe on on the air because we will need our car jack again to bring out our additional supporting stand lift the car jack again and so lift up your car again to extract later the supporting additional part but first we have a look oh it's good we are so awesome we did it good man oh yeah oh it looks great we have done a good job really good job the wishbone is replaced the new part is installed now assemble the tire again push it in position and tighten the bolts by hand, not by your tool. There it is. Now tighten the bolt. Um, cross, cross method, of course. First the left side, then the right side, then the upper side, and then the, the downside or another shape. But it's, it's important to do this cross, uh, in cross direction. Good job. Now tighten it a little bit with a tool, but only a little bit. Yeah. This is an across to a cross tool to tighten the balls of your wheels. Good job. First down, then up, then right or left, and your wheel is tightened again. Good job. Oh, it's really cold here inside. Woo! Good, good, good. We're on the on the way back at at the ground again. So if you tighten the bolts of your wheel, pump up your car jack a little bit and extract the supporting unique under your car. Good job. Now you're able to get back. The Suzuki Swift on the earth again. Do this smooth and gentle. Yeah. Now the car is back on the earth again. Good job, party time. But only one thing to do is use the torch wrench with 110 until 120 Newton meters to tighten your wheels, bolts right. This is important. And Check this after one week of driving with 110 until 120 newton meters again and then you are safe. So thanks for watching, please subscribe, oh I do not forget, um, release the supporting boards at the uh, rear wheels too, this is supporting wedges, this is important, okay, do not drive uh, until you
release that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me, give me positive feedback, and see you next time. Soon, soon.